Hi everyone. It's pleasure to be here today to discuss a topic that is not only timely but also crucial for our collective future. The theme of our session is rethinking practices for a sustainable tomorrow. As someone deeply involved with the Green Software Foundation, I've had the privilege of witnessing how sustainability is reshaping the way we approach technology. This presentation will walk us through the challenges, opportunities and practical actions we can take to make software greener. Let's start by understanding the context, the why behind this imperative. Technology has transformed our lives, but it comes at a cost. Data centers, the heart of the digital world, consume vast amounts of electricity, much of which comes from non-renewable sources. This contributes heavily to global carbon emissions. Consider this. By 2040, the information and communication technology sector is expected to account for 14% of global emissions. As digital technologies continue to grow, this environmental impact will only escalate unless we act decisively. These numbers highlight a pressing need to rethink our practices. As we unpack these challenges, let's narrow our focus to one of the most transformative and resource intensive areas of technology, artificial intelligence. AI has reshaped industries and unlocked incredible possibilities, but its environmental footprint is substantial. Training large models requires an immense amount of computational power and energy, often equivalent to the energy consumption of hundreds of homes for weeks. Even after training, inference where AI interacts with users continues to consume resources. Green software provides a framework for achieving this balance. Green software is the practice of creating technology that minimizes energy consumption and carbon emissions. It's about embedding sustainability into every stage of software development, from design to deployment, without compromising functionality or performance. This practice challenges us to consider sustainability as an essential design principle, not an afterthought. It's a proactive approach to balancing digital innovation with environmental stewardship. To achieve this, green software is guided by a set of core principles. Let's look at the four core principles of green software. Energy efficiency. This focuses on reducing the energy required to perform tasks, whether through efficient algorithms or streamlined processes. Carbon awareness. By aligning workloads with periods of renewable energy availability, software can actively reduce its carbon footprint. Resource efficiency. This principle emphasizes minimizing the hardware required to perform tasks, ensuring no resource is wasted. Sustainable life cycle. Sustainability is not confined to one layer. It spans end to end, from coding to deployment and beyond. These principles create a roadmap for integrating sustainability into every facet of software development. Speaking of life cycle, let's examine how sustainability can be applied across the technology stack. Sustainability isn't limited to individual decisions. It spans the entire life cycle of technology. This means considering the environmental impact of every layer, from programming languages to hosting and device usage. For example, programming languages like Rust and C are energy efficient, while AI architectures can benefit from techniques like pruning and sparsity. Data must be managed responsibly minimizing redundancy and aligning processing with renewable energy. Even user experience plays a role as efficient design reduces energy intensive interactions. Hosting and infrastructure must prioritize renewable energy and devices should be built for longevity and repairability. Each layer contributes to a holistic approach 
to sustainability. Let's start by exploring the foundational layer, programming languages. Programming languages significantly influence energy efficiency. Rust and C are known for their performance and memory optimization, making them suitable for low-level critical tasks. Python, when used with libraries like NumPy or TensorFlow, can also be energy efficient for data processing and AI tasks. The choice of algorithms and data structures often has an even greater impact than the language itself. Writing cleaner, optimized code and using performance profiling tools can further reduce energy use. Matching the right language to the task at hand ensures efficiency throughout the software lifecycle. While programming lays the foundation, AI systems require targeted strategies to minimize their environmental impact. Let's move to AI next. AI can be optimized across its life cycle. Techniques like sparsity and quantization reduce model size and computation. During training, approaches like transfer learning and mixed precision training save significant energy by leveraging pre-trained models and optimizing computations. Inference, where models generate outputs, benefits from strategies like model distillation to create smaller, more efficient versions. Finally, carbon aware scheduling aligns AI workloads with periods of low carbon energy availability, further reducing environmental impact. From AI, we shift to another critical component, data. Let's explore sustainable data practices next. Managing data sustainably starts with minimization. Storing only essential data, cleaning up redundant data sets, and compressing files are key strategies. For large-scale data tasks, efficient algorithms and distributed processing can significantly reduce energy demands. Carbon-aware management such as processing data during periods of renewable energy availability, further aligns data practices with sustainability goals. Additionally, archiving infrequently used data reduces the energy required for active storage. Data practices naturally intersect with user experience. Let's see how user-centric design can also drive energy efficiency. User experience is often overlooked in sustainability, but it's critical. Lightweight UI designs and reduced animations lower the computational load, while features like dark mode save energy on OLED screens. Simplified workflows minimize user interaction time and reduce backend processing demands. Educating users about the environmental impact of their actions, such as uploading large files, can foster more conscious digital behavior. From users, let's now turn to the infrastructure that supports them. Hosting infrastructure presents vast opportunities for sustainability. Renewable power data centers and energy efficient cooling systems like liquid cooling reduce emissions. Virtualization and right sizing workloads prevent over provisioning and idle capacity. Carbon aware hosting, where workloads are executed in regions with abundant renewable energy, further optimizes resource usage. Serverless architectures and edge computing reduce latency and transfer energy. From infrastructure, let's explore the devices we use daily. Extending the life cycle of devices is crucial. Designing software updates that are compatible with older devices and promoting repairability reduce e-waste. Using energy efficient hardware and enabling low power modes also save energy. Encouraging a circular economy where devices are recycled or repurposed addresses the growing issue of electronic waste. These strategies combined with responsible software practices contribute to a more sustainable tech ecosystem. Finally, let's explore how we measure and act on these efforts. The software carbon intensity specification from the Green Software Foundation provides a clear framework for measuring 
and reducing software emissions. It emphasizes reduction over offsets, ensuring meaningful action. Tools like the Impact Framework make it easier to calculate and share these metrics, enabling transparency and collaboration. Combined with green software patterns, which offer practical solutions for reducing emissions, we have the tools to take immediate action. Ultimately, sustainability in software isn't just about tools and practices, it's a cultural transformation. Green software requires us to shift our mindset. Advocacy, collaboration, and education are critical to embedding sustainability into every aspect of software development. This is not a one time effort, but an ongoing journey. To summarize, I would say that as software practitioners, we have the power to reduce technology's environmental footprint by writing efficient code, optimizing processes, and designing with care. We can ensure a sustainable future for technology and the planet. Thank you for listening.